let's go to banks right uh you know yesterday there was this uh, mail which came to my email id khayal aapka hmm. and uh, from a certain bank then you have got banks like the bank which starts with you right they got a tagline like that yeah and then mil- million others when we talk about banks do you think they are as serious about cyber security as much as they are about advertising well i would say that for banks cyber security is more of a joke than anything else and it's no laughing matter in fact i believe that the banks are responsible for the fact that india is one of the worst protected nations in cyber space the banks refuse to spend money on cyber security and that's why we are vulnerable in cyber space i see what do you have to say about this uh, recent debit card hack which made people run from pillar to post about 32 lakh debit cards were hacked simultaneously was it, was yours also hacked no a friend of mine was mm-hmm. under the same situation like he got his debit card hacked and he didn't know what to do mm-hmm. so and when he asked the bank that something has happened the the bank told him that you'll have to get your debit card replaced now he he was in like in a, in a mess he had no idea so what do you have to say about this uh, 32 lakh debit cards which were hacked well this 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 incident happened what 15 days ago 30 days ago before the demonetization yeah so to date nobody in the world knows what exactly happened if i tell you what happened it's conjecture i think this is the single biggest problem that i have with rbi there has been a, a cyber security attack on indian banks it could be china it could be pakistan it could be anybody we don't know the quantum of the attack we don't know how it happened we we know nothing right i don't think there's a police case filed and we're all clueless now this is not the way after after all the banks are dealing with my money this is not the way you deal with somebody else's money there should be some some responsibility do you know of any banker who's been sacked do you does anybody even know what happened no so it will keep happening now uh, let me see we have to do this yeah you see this how yeah. do you, you like our mugs but i'm on your show so i have to say yes but we are in your office yeah it's 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 my office but that's why i i i am saying yes that's why i'm saying nice things you give this my office or else you would have thrown us out well i'm too polite for that my age we don't do these things oh, okay let's move on uh atms today mm-hmm. they use uh, windows xp as their microsoft like as an operating software yeah. i don't remember my grandfather using the same software now like even my grandfather has moved on what do you, what do you have to say about this i mean this is as uh, technically that's not true hmm. because windows xp was retired some 3 4 years ago yeah my grandfather quit it about 2 years ago okay but grandfather you mean 10 10 20 years ago but uh, windows xp was in, was i mean microsoft retired it 3 4 years ago but for the last 10 years i don't think anybody bought a copy of windows xp hmm so the first thing about about atms is that they don't use the latest technology they are dinosaurs they're old obsolete equipment in fact i would be embarrassed to use an atm because it's nothing but a very very old pc which today nobody will use even if you pay them money that's how old the atm technology in the world is very very old very very obsolete yeah so some of them even use windows windows 95 windows 95 yes know? which is which predates you know uh, windows xp by at least 10 years civilization yeah so the point is if you if you all atms i believe belong to a museum and i think the world should say that you cannot use technology that is so old uh what do you see the future do you, will they adopt new techniques and be serious about cyber techniques well you see when you look at the banking sector you look at the indian corporate sector whenever they get hacked i honestly say serves you right because none of these people have invested money on people they've invested money on policies they invested money on hardware but the key thing is having people who can spot attacks stop them that the indian corporate sector and the banks have let the cyber security industry down by not spending money by making sure that all the good talent has left the country there's no cyber security business happening in the country so they are suffering with the same problem they they pay peanuts to the young cyber security experts and that's why well the point is because they pay peanuts they don't even get monkeys so today i would say you have monkeys who are protecting india's cyber security 
So we have got monkeys who, on our behalf, they protect our banks, our accounts, our money. So yes. we have got monkeys protecting them. Yes. And the worst part is, for the corporate sector, multiple cases like this, where you lose a laptop, you file an FIR with the police, your computer gets hacked, you do nothing. Hmm. And when I say hacked, I mean because money, all your bills and all are on a computer, so there's a lot of technology fraud happening. That fraud is a huge loss to companies and they refuse to file an FIR. So hence the cyber loss in India can't be quantified because there's no law in the country which says what? You have to file a cyber complaint. Now let's talk about government. Yeah. Same topic, do you think our government, the present government, I mean forget the past government, they're not even in question. Hmm. The present government, are they as serious for cyber security as much as they are for Gaudaksha? Okay. Let me answer that question in a different way. So let me ask you a question, you've been asking too many questions. Okay. How many of the current ministers you have seen who carry a laptop with them? You mean in public? In public, where they carry their laptops and they make presentations themselves using the laptops? The answer is effectively zero. If you count Mr. Chandrababu Naidu as a BJP minister, yes. So the problem is that our bureaucrats and politicians don't use technology. Chandrababu so, Naidu is not a BJP minister. No, I saw. So, which I'm saying, if you count him, he's the only one I have seen with a laptop. Oh, you mean he's the only one who's tech savvy? Who is tech savvy? Who knows how to use a laptop? Because you see. You, you, you can only but everybody is on Twitter and Facebook. That's what they claim. Mira desh badal raha hai, aage badal hai. Yeah, but uh, once again, do they tweet or does their staff tweet? There's a difference between the two. Hmm. Okay. In fact, most of them will not even carry carry mobile phones. So when we say Gaudaksha and when we say cyber security, Gaudaksha hmm. is far ahead yes. as far as priorities of the current government is concerned. Well, I would say no, forget about priorities, but there's a lack of understanding of technology. See, unless you you shopped online, unless you use Twitter yourself, you're not going to understand what these what these technologies mean. When we talk about the policies which mm -hmm. the government make on cyber security, many experts opine, and I'll quote uh, Mr. Arun Mohan Sukumar here. Mm -hmm. He wrote in the Hindu recently mm -hmm. an article on cyber security. He mentioned and he emphasized that we still don't have a national cyber security agency. Uh, and in this era where India's international prominence is increasing, mm -hmm. hashtag I love Modi, do you think that we need to get more serious about our cyber security because we have got malware attacks from China and in some cases uh, Pakistan, uh, US, I mean, do you think there needs to be a lot of work done on our cyber security see, as far as policies are concerned? See, I think we have too many policies we don't implement. Now, for example, let's take Pakistan. The ISI funds their hackers so that they can attack India. We don't fund hackers to carry out a cyber attack on Pakistan. So I am saying that, that I don't understand why the government of the day cannot fund hackers and say now attack Pakistan. Pakistan will attack us in cyberspace. We need to be prepared. We are not prepared. Now it's not I saying it, it's the US government saying it, which has openly accused the Chinese government of hiring hackers who will steal from America. So I'm saying let's not have a policy, let's let's believe in action and let's tell ourselves that we need to hire the best Indian hackers, pay them royally so that they can attack our enemies. We are doing none of that. You think Pakistan is stronger than us when it comes to cyber security and attacks? See, the best way to answer that question is you ask yourself how many sites in India are being attacked by the Pakistanis and how many we have attacked. The, the Pakistani attacks on us are a organized attack. There is big money funding it. In our case, it's that individual attack, Indian attacker who wants to hit, hit Pakistan. The government of India is doing nothing about it. What are you saying? You mean Pakistan is better than us in cyber security? Yes. I mean, many people will go mad on this. But, but, uh, but that's a fact today. See, uh, if we were better, then why are so many Indian websites being hacked by Pakistanis and not vice versa. I'm saying look at the raw data, don't get emotional. Okay. Uh, which are the websites which prominently get hacked or like are prone to attacks or vulnerable to attacks in Pakistan or China? Well, uh, see, you see the problem is a lot of these, for example, recently the government law website got attacked. Now only got attacked, why? Because it wasn't protected. 
to protect the website you need tons and tons of money so that's why a flipkart or a snap deal attacking them is more difficult because there is not enough i mean they they have spent a lot of lot of money so if if you want your name in the paper then you attack these other websites the only problem is that most of these websites that have been attacked they don't talk about it unless the pakistanis talk about it we have spoken a lot of hulala has been made out of digital india yeah okay and but like you said that we don't even have basics of cyber security in place hmm. what is the way forward like where are we like we are, are we confused or do we have misplaced priorities well you say i can't comment on digital india because honestly i don't know what digital india is supposed to do i don't know now maybe that's my lack of understanding okay what i would like to see as digital india is that all of us should have fast internet access okay that's one that's one which hasn't happened hmm. okay two is for me digital india would mean what the state of california says if you get hacked that means if your website gets hacked you better make that data public three if you file an fir in the police station within three months right the the hacker should be caught so for me digital india means all of that because if we don't build a strong deterrence then there's no point having a digital india mm-hmm.